Yo guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today I'm going to be reviewing 86 rated Foot Fantasy Emery Chan. So he does look like a very, very good card. 84 pace, 82 shooting and passing with 84 dribbling, 87 defending and 91 physical. Looking at the player bio, he's 6 foot 1 tall, medium high work rates, a right footed primarily with 3 star skills which is unfortunate but he does have a 4 star weak foot coming in at around, well roughly, 313k that's how much i bought him for looking at the player details you can start at center mode center back and cdm got the Borussia Dortmund links the bundesliga links and the germany links as well looking at the attribute details on the card i did read out the face stats to you guys so as you guys can see i have gone for the powerhouse chem style the pace on the card 72 acceleration is pretty low so if i think it needs a boost maybe i'll switch it up give him a catalyst or something but as of right now 72 acceleration and 93 sprint speed and he does have that lengthy accelerate type. Shooting on the card is solid. He's got 86 shot power with 85 long shots and 81 volleys. So actual attack positioning and finishing isn't that bad either. Passing on the card does get a nice boost. Vision up to 97, crossing to 84. Short pass and long pass to 93 and curve up to 84 as well. Dribbling isn't great, but it's not too bad to be honest with you. 87 reactions and dribbling along with 85 composure and 84 ball control. Defending looks absolutely ridiculous, 96 interceptions, 90 heading accuracy, 87 defensive awareness, maxed out stand tackles and 88 slide tackle. Physical is obviously the best part of the card, 96 jumping, 92 stamina so I'm expecting him to last the full 90. He's also got 90 strength and 91 aggression. Looking at additional information is basically how the foot fantasy cards work. He can of course get a maximum of 4 upgrades taking him up to 90 rated. He does have the flare traits and I'm going to be trying this card out at center mid and CDM and maybe even a center back as well if I feel as though we need more tackling clips or if I feel as though he's not doing enough defensively. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 86 rated foot fantasy Emery Chan and straight off the bat a great pass with the left foot plays it perfectly into the path of Dirk Kaut and unfortunately we can't send Diogo Jota in behind. But moving on to the next clip, Kaut gets it into Emery Chan, takes the touch and then tests out the power shot on the card and that is a very good save from the goalkeeper, very straight that angle from Emery Chan to take the shot from but regardless a good shot on the left. Here a great turn and another good pass, a fancy pass just using that flare trade on the card but unfortunately again once we get the ball to Jota we can't really turn, good tackle from Alexander Arnold and we do end up losing possession. On to the next well, series of clips just showcasing the interceptions on the card. Right place at the right time, intercepts that one. He's going to do the same here. Zidane has it, gets it into R9 and Chan is there. Right place at the right time once more, steps on the gas and intercepts that pass. Again here, this guy has it with Virgil van Dijk. Chan steps in, makes a good interception and tries to dink that pass into Jota. It doesn't work out. Doesn't get it back either because Casemiro pushes him but Jota does eventually get the shot away. Onto the next clip, Chan once more at the CDM position, wins the ball back, good strength to hold off his man, strides forward, gets it into Jota and Mane comes back and collects it from an offside position. We're not done just yet here, a vital, absolutely crucial interception, sticks out a leg and well basically pokes it back to Manuel Neuer and once more, very similar to the well previous clip, the clip before the crucial interception, just sticks the leg in, wins the ball back and gets it forward to Mane. But taking a break from the defensive side of things, showcasing the first goal of this video, Gerard gets it into Emre Chan. Then his great skill gets past his man and on the left foot smashes it into the top corner. Great finish from Emre Chan, and we do have, like I said, the first goal of this video. Moving on to the tackles on the card, starting off with a ridiculous slide tackle from Emre Chan. Honestly, R9 is basically through there, but he steps on the gas, wins it back. And we do make a great tackle there and we make another great tackle here. Sliding in, Casemiro takes a slightly heavy touch, exposing the ball to Chan just a little bit and we do win it back. Here, look at the jockeying on this card, very very quick to get into the tackle. Wins back with the max style stand tackles and we do retain possession. He's going to do the exact same here. This guy tries to turn Emery Chan immediately hard at his back and wins the ball back and we can go forward. But moving on to the more technical side of things, the passing on the card. He has the ball here, drills that pass into Sadio Mane. Great pass but Mane unfortunately couldn't turn. Here he drops into the CDM position, Harvey Elliott gets it into him and he makes a good pass into Dirk Kaut who is playing a centre mid and he slips it in behind, Jota's through and smashes it into the back of the net. By the way, if you guys want to see a video on him, there is a video on the channel. I did make one earlier today. Here Emre Chan with some great dribbling takes it over Frankie de Jong and we do get fouled but 
Doug Cowles pass isn't really the greatest and we do lose possession. Here once more Chan doing his job as a CDM knows where the danger is, knows where the ball is going to be played, runs to that direction, gets the pass from Ashley Cole and moves around first time on the left foot and we can go forward. Here again just drops deep into the CDM position, makes that pass to Jota, Mane should be scoring that but unfortunately the goalkeeper does make a pretty simple save because it was straight at him. On to the next clip, Jota gets it down to Chan again, great dribbling, gets past one and Valverde isn't really coming towards us so I'm going to try the glory pass and it almost works out. I mean if the keeper wasn't coming out there, 100% Jota gets onto that and 100% we do end up getting an assist. But speaking of getting assists, we do get one here. Great pass on the left foot, dinked over the top for Fernando Torres with a cracking volley over the goalkeeper, just loops it over him and we do end up getting an assist with Emre Chan in this video but we of course do one more can we maybe get a goal with him chan gets that pass off into diogo jota i see torres at the far post chan makes a run into the box good aggression from him surely and he somehow misses the goals honestly i'm not too sure how on earth emery chan is missing that he's right in front of the goals basically in the goalkeeper's box i know it's on a weak foot but it's got a four star weak foot Anyway, moving on, he somehow manages to score this from miles out, just takes the touch and puts his foot through it and he smashes it into the back of the net. Great finish from Imre Chan, pile driver off the strike, smashes it past the goalkeeper, this guy's had enough, he pauses and he does end up quitting. Still a bit stunned about that open goal volley though, but regardless, we move. On to the last clip of this video, Emery Chan just showcasing the physicality on the card, does very well to hold off that man, I went for the normal well, normal power shot, I guess, not the L1, R1 sort of thing. And the keeper flies and does make a pretty easy save. But regardless, good strength from him just to hold off the players and get that shot off in the first place. So guys, with that being said, it is time to review the card. And as you guys can see, in 8 games, has managed 2 goals and 1 assist, which from the CDM position isn't too bad at all. So I'm going to go through the attribute details and then tell you guys the best position for this card. Best can sell in the different positions if you were to use him at those different positions and what position I think he is best in before giving you guys go ahead and letting you know if he is worth the coins. So the pace on the card genuinely I think is more than good enough at the moment especially with the powerhouse can sell. They can't really get around him to expose that acceleration because he does have the defending boost so you try to get around him he's just going to clamp you make the stand tackle and take the ball from you. So pace isn't really too much of a problem. I'm gonna give him an 8.5 out of 10. He does have a lengthy accelerate type as well. So again, if you get past him, he's just gonna turn around, run and catch you. So pace does get an 8.5 out of 10. Shooting is pretty solid, nothing great, but not too bad either. He can score a long shot, gets him on target. Should have scored the volley, not sure how he missed that, but we don't talk about that. Shooting, not bad at all, 8.2 out of 10. Passing is very underrated, the free kick accuracy does drag it down a lot. With the powers, chem style, I feel as though the shooting on the, or oh, sorry, the passing on the card is very good. I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.5 out of 10, especially having 93 short pass and long pass. It does make this card very, very good, especially at that CDM and center mid position, or even a center back, because sometimes you do need that ball playing center back, and this guy is your man. Looking at the dribbling on the card, it's genuinely not bad. He keeps his calm, he's cool and collected, and he can very easily wriggle you out of a tight situation if you need to, or just use the physical while holding off players, trying to dribble them to um, to free you from a, from a tricky situation, as I said. So dribbling on the card is not too bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.5 out of 10. It is pretty solid. Although it doesn't have the best agility or balance, it's good reactions, good dribbling and good composure and he does have some solid ball control as well. He can keep the ball close to his body when dribbling around players. Defending is honestly ridiculous this guy. Just put in a tackle, just press the button, press circle or press square or whatever it is for Xbox or whatever button you use to stand tackle or slide tackle, just press the button and he will just make sure that he wins the ball back. He can be halfway across the pitch, he'll slide the length of his own half, win the ball back and he will take it forward for you guys. But on a much more serious note, genuinely defending is sensational. Interceptions are ridiculous. It's basically a Bundesliga Patrick Vieira. Essentially, that's the best way to describe it. Interceptions are absolutely godlike. Heading is very good. Defensive awareness, always to the right place at the right time. Stand tackle and slide tackle is sensational as well. So like I said, defending is very good. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Physical, he is an absolute monster of a man. He's very tall and very, very strong. As well, if I'm not mistaken, he is around six foot two. I will just check that. According to footprint, six foot one. My bad. He is very tall and genuinely very, very strong. And having 96 jumping is going to be very good in the air. 
he does love to pull 90, very strong and very aggressive as well. So genuinely physical is insane, I think he does deserve a 9.3 out of 10. And best position for this card and best camp style for each position. If you're playing my centre back, I think shadow camp style, just giving him that defending boost, physical is more than good enough and he does get a plus 8 if I'm not mistaken to the acceleration, taking it up to 80 and the sprint speed does get maxed out as well. According to Foot Pinyan, it does give him a plus of it. So, Shadow Camp style, if he's playing a centre back, CDM, I think the Powerhouse Camp style is the way to go because he doesn't need the speed, he's got defenders behind him, doesn't really need to be running through the midfield either, so he's just going to sit in one place and make sure players don't get past him and then would make the pass forward. So, boosting the defending and the passing is the way to go if he's playing at CDM, hence the Powerhouse Camp style. If he's playing a centre mid, I think the Catalyst Camp style, obviously, for obvious reasons, playing a centre mid, you need him to be a bit faster and more responsive with the acceleration. And his passing does require just a little bit of a boost. So yeah, catalyst at centre mid. But I do think the best position for this card is definitely at CDM. And is he worth 300k? Yes, 100%. This guy is a bargain at 300k. If he gets a plus 4, which I doubt he will, but even a plus 3, this guy is going to be absolutely monstrous to use. At the sentiment position you guys are going to see him in weekend you're going to see him everywhere in every position because he can play every position so genuinely this card one of the most versatile cards i've used this fifa very strong card very fun card to use and i do honestly recommend you using this card and trying him out for your team so with that being said i do bring an end to the video if you like this smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until then guys stay tuned for the next one peace